Now, what kind of difficulties are you are you encountering here with terrain or rocks or whatever? Well, that that's big. Uh, we uh, started out the uh, first couple days as just moving uh, hundreds of uh, wooden uh, boxes, uh, house doghouse boxes, and uh, debris. That it's it's just a dumping area for for the work that these people do with the sled dogs, and um, so we had to move a lot of debris. And then, of course, uh, we had to go through and scrape through the surface, uh, which we usually do, and, and try to find out the, the limitations of graves. And then uh, once we get to that level, and then the people are on their hands and knees, and they're, they're working with uh, 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 more delicate instruments than, uh, than big machines. And uh, then we go down, uh, we expose the remains, uh, uh, then they're mapped out by electronic uh, mapping, uh, and uh, this is what we do also with, uh, with, with the way we're working at it, the way we work at uh, human graves. So, it, 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 and this, uh, the logistics, uh, the individuals working, uh, the evidence people of the SPCA, uh, and the photographers and that, uh, they do this work all the time. Now they're applying this work to this project, this particular case. So you're here to, to help them, um, these dogs, if, if it is what I'm here to help here. the dogs. Right. I'm here to help the dogs. They're dead, but they're going to have a story to tell us. Right. And you're going to find that story out? And we're going to read that story. Is there anything else you want to say? Uh, thank you for interviewing me. <laughs> okay, I said. It's okay.